ladies, how's it going? So before I even get started, I'm going to say this video is going to be short because it's going to be a direct upload straight from my phone onto the little interwebs to your beautiful computer uh, because we finally have come back to our home in Jersey and we had a lot of bags. So my husband has the bag with the computer and I noticed after yesterday, if I talk too much on the phone, I start to give that slight lip sync thing that my camera was doing and ain't nobody got time for that. But today is Monday, June 30th, 2014. So you know that means that tomorrow is July 1st, of which I'm very excited for. I'm just kooky crazy. I'm very excited for July 1st. And I hope you're excited for July 1st too, because that means that there is six months left this year. So if you have any goals that you set that you have not completed, or better yet, even started, you can start tomorrow, a nice fresh start. I have so many things that I'm looking forward to for the second half of the year that I am just bubbling over with excitement for July 1st. So today I am cycle day three and I'm still on AF obviously. Generally I have five days of like a heavy kind of cycle and then the last two days are kind of spotty. And during the first, first to fifth day I indulge like crazy. Because during the rest of the cycle, I eat healthy and all the rest of other stuff. So I had me a good old piece of, what is that? Sausage pizza with a snicker and some Pepsi. And the things I love when I'm on AF, Pepsi, chocolate cake, Snickers bars, jalapeno potato chips, fried chicken, all sorts of ratchetness. But anyway, let me say hello to my newest subscriber. I think her name is Camelia. I just saw it yesterday, Camellia. So, hello, Camellia. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate all of you guys. I cannot believe that I am at 90 subscribers, and I love each and every one of you. And I thank you so much for all of your support and, you know, deciding that you want to follow this very interesting journey of mine. So, today, I just want to discuss what I plan on doing this cycle. Now that I'm home, I will be going back to the gym. I have a gym membership and the gym is actually, oh, well, let me hold this differently. The gym is actually down the street from my house. So I will be starting back going to the gym. I'm definitely keeping up with my smoothies. I have a supplement that I plan to do this month, like in terms of um, you know, like TDC supplements, how there's different stuff, like prenatal pills and stuff like that. Um, but I'll share that with you later on. But that's the major thing, because I want to keep consistent with what I've been doing, because I feel like what I've been doing has been working. But I definitely want to add the exercise to it. Now, I will say that I am not disciplined when it comes to fitness. I'm not the kind of girl that goes into the gym and can run a circuit. You know what I mean? Like, go over there, do five squats, and then go do those weights over there for five minutes, and then go run on the treadmill for ten minutes, and then go over there on that pull-up bar for another Like, I can't do that. I have to go to a gym where there's classes, and I'm around other people, and I can feel motivated and things like that. So, I'm going to get back to my Zumba classes, which I'm very excited for. And when I do Zumba, I just do it in the morning, five days a week, one hour a day. And so that'll get my blood flowing, my exercise rolling, and all sorts of stuff. So, I'm excited about that. Um, and, I'm trying to think. I think that was mainly it. The one thing that I have noticed though, and I've really sat down to think about the changes of this cycle versus last cycle and the cycle before that, is that um, my CM is different. And I've noticed that you're supposed to have this certain type of egg white CM during ovulation and things like that, and I never get it. <laughs> Which is really crazy. I've noticed that I've, I really never get it during the time of ovulation. I always get it a week after. I'm not really sure why that happens or what the case is. I'm, I'm really not sure. So again, like last month where I was saying I was drinking my water and all the rest of other stuff to help with my CM. I think this month I'm planning to take a supplement for it and hopefully it'll help because I always notice fertile CM, egg white CM after ovulation. Like I usually ovulate around cycle day 14. I want to say I notice egg white CM and things like that probably not until like cycle day 18. Maybe like 18, 19, 20-ish. Even though I'm not ovulating at that time. So I have to figure out why that isn't, why that's happening. And okay, where's my bag? I was going to do this video in my room. I was in the living room just now. 
But my fish tank, as you'll hear when I come in here, let's have a moment of silence. You hear that sound? That's the fish tank. Because I, we haven't been here, so we have to add more water to the fish tank to change it. Okay, so here we are. I think everyone knows if you've been following me long enough that I get something new TTC-wise at the beginning of every single cycle. And it is a Zodiac onesie. So I went to the store to get my Zodiac onesie. This is my fourth cycle. So the first cycle I got a Zodiac onesie. The second cycle I got like a, just a regular sleeper. The third cycle I got a Zodiac onesie. And the fourth cycle, here we are, Zodiac onesies. Then I went to the store today and I was like, dang, like people are really buying these things up. Now they only have one rack of Zodiac onesies left. So, but that's all right, because this is going to be my month. This, this right here, this month, I'm going to just say it right now. This month right here, and I'm probably going to say it every day. So I convince myself and you guys too. This month is going to be my month. This is, this is the month. And I know it's like, well, people say that all the time. This is going to be their month. And then it don't happen. And then you still got to believe what it's going to be. It's going to be my month. July. Mark it down right now. And there's 31 days in July. So that means that God has given me one more extra day. But this video is getting long. So here it is. Let me see. I'll put it right here. If you can see. Can you see it good? <laughs> so I picked up the onesie today. And it says Aries, March 21st to April 20th. So uh, when, not if, when we get pregnant this cycle, <laughs> our baby will be an Aries. So thank you so much, guys, as always, for all of your support. I will see you guys tomorrow. I am home to Lady T Expressions because I somehow ended up bringing the prizes here. And then I was not here. So I have to send out her prize this week. I am also on the cusp of 100 subscribers, and I will be doing another giveaway, either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. I did order the stuff that I wanted to use this cycle, and I ordered a little extra, so look out for that. All right, ladies, I will see you tomorrow. Stay positive.